Hi, my name is Mike Lennon. I'm going to show you a little bit how data flows through my home automation lawn sprinkler system here. Uh, you might take a look at one of my other videos uh, just to see functionally how the uh, phone controls my lawn sprinkler system, but here I'm going to kind of show you how the data flows through through the system. So basically, uh, within my home, behind my firewall, I have a Netduino Plus sprinkler that uh, is basically hooked up to my internal network uh, at home and connected up to my sprinkler heads to turn on my watering system. Also I have a Windows Phone 7 that I use to program the sprinkler as far as the times it should come on as well as remotely uh, control the sprinkler. Also I use the Azure platform to connect the two devices together where the phone connects to the the sprinkler. Um, I also use the Azure platform to connect services to uh, devices in my home. And primarily this communication goes through the service bus. So devices to devices through the serv service bus as well as services to devices. A couple other components that I have is a, what I call a home connector. This basically sits behind my firewall and opens up the communications with the service bus as well as a what I call a remote connector that basically services requests from the Windows Phone 7. This works by the home connector making an outbound connection through the firewall that c opens up a communications channel to the service bus. This basically lets the service bus know that hey, I'm, I'm ready for messages, um, go ahead and send them my way if any come. My phone, basically if I were to turn on the sprinkler system, an HTTP JSON request would be sent to the remote connector. That would in turn be mapped to a service bus remote procedure call. That would find the open channel and follow down that open channel through my firewall to the home connector and then get mapped back into an HTTP JSON request that gets sent off to the Netduino Plus sprinkler which would then in, in turn turn on my sprinkler heads. Okay, now I'm going to talk a little bit more about some services that also communicate over the service bus. I have what I would call the home services which right now has a weather service and a time service. So the weather service requests um, forecast data and sends that down to the Netduino and then the time service just requests the current time and sends it down to the Netduino so it knows the correct time. The weather underground service provides the forecast data. Um, this works in the same fashion where the home connector makes an outbound connection through the firewall to the service bus saying, hey, I'm ready for messages. The weather service basically requests the current weather for my location through the weather underground service, maps that to a service bus call, remote procedure call, sends it off to the service bus, which in turn goes down through the firewall to the home connector and gets routed to the Netduino Plus through an HTTP JSON request. So this basically lets the Neduino sprinkler system know that what the current weather conditions are and it can choose to uh, turn on the sprinkler heads today or not based on that weather condition. One more thing I wanted to mention is that the Azure platform is not required for the either the remote connector or the home services. You can self-host the remote connector or for your own your, uh, under your own ASP.NET provider or you can host your home services uh, as a Windows service if you like. The communication is just the same with the service bus. It, it basically t sends a remote procedure call to the service bus from either the remote connector or the home services and it doesn't matter that, that those two services do not reside within the Azure platform. Alright, that about wraps it up to kind of show you how the data gets passed through the system.
Uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about the lawn sprinkler and, and how it works, uh, including links to the code, head on over to www.protosystem.net. Um, or you can follow me on Twitter at, at mlinen. Thanks.